Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm kind of just gonna craft with me, not necessarily a tutorial because I didn't do the measurements for this thing. I'm gonna see what it looks like first, <laughs> even though it's super basic. But I have a bunch of um, little embellishments like this instead of just sticking it like on a piece of paper and in a baggie. I wanted to make a cute little embellishment book. And right now, oh, I guess I should glue the front side first. I am using that new paper pad from Joann's. It is the DCWV. It's the Holly Jolly paper pad. Super cute. This one's like very crafty. It's got the scissors, the tags, the string, just very cute pattern. Go ahead and stitch everything in gold first. My problem with this paper pad was a lot of the backside had cute designs. Like it's one thing when a paper pad is double-sided and the other side's kind of ugly or like it's hands down like oh definitely picking this side <laughs> this paper pad was not like that so I was like oh shoot like oh well I guess I have one more sheet that I could use it for the other side technically but yeah it was some cute papers to be you know gluing and covering okay so I glued that side down looks like I've got all the pieces ready to roll. I did not intend on doing a video, but I know that's what you guys like. And it's like, give the people what they want. <laughs> so thank you for watching. So for the inside, I wanted to do, I'm going to do this little pocket guy right here. And I wanted to do alternating, shoot, shoot like this. Santa pink, Santa stripe. I think like that. Oh, like this will be cute okay so let me glue these guys down the base of this little embellishment holder holder folder oh there we go embellishment holder folder is 110 pound cardstock i used two different pinks because i ran out of the rest of this pink and then this is just regular 60 pound weight, you know, paper pad style paper. But now that the front has this and the back side has this, this is like super sturdy feeling the entire little page. Like, feels like a mini album. Okay, this, I need to make sure my pocket's on the top. Okay, so it's gonna go like this, straight. Straight on the bottom. I have no clue what I'm doing. At the top, it's kind of like a mini album, but I didn't do it all professionally. It's gonna be hokey pokey. And up, nice tight grip. And look how cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I forgot. It's like too tight on there. No, no, it's not. I can pray. It's still at it. Ribbon. I always, always forget seam binding. So I'm going to do my, my scrap cabin, some of this fun green. One, two. I love the crinkle stuff. It's just so cute. I'm just going to kind of lift, lift and shove because I already glued, glued stuff. Wish me luck. Oh shoot, I can't even tell where the center is. Okay. Okay. There we go. Can't even tell. Hot glue. Nobody's, they're gonna, it's that video. They're gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Okay, so I was able to do a quick fix with that. Whew good thing okay so I'm just going to stick my embellishments I knew that I had like four short not fat but like short little embellies so I'm gonna use my I like these the best I have that other brand um what's it called dots dude uh, you guys probably know they've been around for forever I guess I am just using the Alina craft version from Aliexpress and I'm obsessed, I need to order more because this is my last roll. But I like the quality and the, you know, the stickiness, I guess, of these little dots, so cute. 
the little oven shaker from Cast Craft, Elf hat. Uh, what else? Oh, the snowflake guy from Andy's store. I guess I'll put it up here. Oh, too many. Like so. Little shaker. I guess this is a shaker. Yes, okay, shaker embellishment. My gosh, it is windy outside. You guys hear that? Um, sometimes I like just sticking it at the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom because sometimes it's hard to press down on the shaker and get a good grip. Versus like this, you can push down like this versus in the middle, you're pressing down on the acetate. Okay, where'd this gumdrop fall off? This is a cute little, and because I have the, what's that called? The spine, the gusset, it is just thick enough that it's not bulging. You can tie, nice and cute. Cute little bow, and now I'm going to decorate and use the actual cut apart. A 12 by 12. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> Let's see. There's a cute page with some. Um, this page is really cute. This one's definitely too big, so I'm gonna have to go back to the tag. Oh, here we go. These are cute. Merry Christmas. I think I like this one. I'm going to cut this guy out. Okay, and I'm going to see if I can layer this with a tag. Okay, so I like to look at, like, the colors. Weird that these tags are, like, like tall at the top. I'll layer it with this green one because I can't do it with pink since my, my cut aparts are already pink. You want it to have contrast, and you can't do white because the background of the front of the page is white. So it must be green. So I'm gonna do something like this. Except for this green and this green don't match, it's gonna drive me nuts, but we will work with what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna um, stitch both of these real quick. Okay, so it's gonna go like this and like this, or I can kind of just stagger it like this. I think I'm gonna do this. I feel like I do this too much on mini albums. <laughs> Didn't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. Staple the two. Okay, so I just stapled it at the top and like on the side. Oof, gunk glue on my nails. Let's go like this and I'm gonna add some pop-up dots and I know I probably wanna add some trim. And you guys, to give a project dimension, you don't need that much puffy tape something in the center to keep it from collapsing and then just a couple on the outside especially like bigger projects one in the corner see perfect dimension i do want to add i'm sure i have tons of like christmas trim somewhere and it's not being utilized but this pink trim is cute or should i do or should i do it on the spine or should i do it on the inside like a, um, what's that, what's that thing called? Junk journals? You know how they have like fun trims? Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's be a wannabe mini, or what's it called? What did I just call it? Junk journal. Wannabe. Oh yes, junk journal wannabe, here I come. Okay, now I need trim for the front. <laughs> what if I did, oh, this one's cute. It's a smaller, oh, where should I do it? <laughs> oh, hot mess. Like this on the side of this tag. I'm gonna do that. It's a cute little pom-pom dimension on the side. The mama and the baby, super cute. And I can always add um, 
where's my snowflakes? Only because I was working with these the other day, so they're already, already on my desk. I like those Dollar Tree. Ooh, these stink like chemicals. Okay, I'm gonna do a white one. What else do I got? Ooh, it'd be cute to do Brad's. Tim Holtz, let's do that. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just surprised I'm rolling with the punches like this. These just happen to be in the bag. These ones are a little too big for what I'm looking. Oh, how cute would it be to, oh, these ones look too distressed. And these ones are too big. Well, the sleeve or the collar, like a collar, like a dog. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these at the bottom of the these sweaters thingies. And because I'm too lazy to go get my hole punch, I'm just gonna use a pokey tool and stab where I want it. Okay, stab where I want it. Kind of stretch it out enough to get these little things in. Oh my gosh, how cute is this going to be? Spread, spread it, sister. Okay, and then another one over here. Easily um, just glue jingle bells as well, but I love that these are brads and I don't even have to do that. And they're not gonna fall off. Oh, how cute, how cute, okay. So snow, oh. Snowflake in the corner, jingle bells in the front. Very, very cute. Let me hot glue this. And you could be, oh, you could be sloppy with the hot glue on this thing because this part's gonna be covered. And undo these guys. And because there is this uh, glittery snowflake, I am going to add hot glue to these puffy, puffy stickers just to get them to stick to everything and anything. Gosh, this is so simple, so cute. Merry Christmas, little jingle bells on there, okay. And then I also have, <laughs> if you see it, use it. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can just have die cuts. Oh, you know what, I have Christmas tree die cuts somewhere. There it is, on the hot, hot mess express. I'm gonna add this little, Christmas tree right here just because it is super cute. It does come in a, well it did. I don't know where they're at now. So we're gonna use what I could see. And this does come in a three pack. It is a very skinny, like um, ooh, modern Christmas tree die set from Andy store. And it comes in a three pack, like I said, three just skinny, narrow little Christmas trees. And I use this to wrap up some Happy Mail. Now I'm like, uh, let's let can we use an entire sticker sheet would that be possible i don't think i've ever used an entire sticker sheet you guys okay i don't know how to tuck these in everything's already glued down shoot okay okay i think these guys might just be way too big nip and tuck. Can we do it? <laughs> okay, too many. Maybe I'll just do some on the back. Just to give it, just to give it some dimension. Like, oh, you know what? I'll do a little craft purge thingy on the back and then have the snowflake kind of coming down on it. Me with love. Cute little snowflakes everywhere. Oh my gosh, you guys, I used an entire sticker sheet. Hallelujah. First time ever in this cute little embellishment book. Now I just need to, I'm gonna stick a baggie in here. Um, these iridescent bags are from AliExpress. Let's see if they fit. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, they fit with just the top hanging out, which is perfect, so people know that it's there. Oh my 
gosh, why, like, why, why do I do this to myself? This is a hot mess. So I'm gonna do some, let's see. Maybe these are Christmas words. Is this Christmas? Yes, it is. Christmas word, Santa, mm, Santa baby, no peeking, jingle bells. Okay, so I'm gonna include these in this little baggie. Okay, so I just stuck the words in there. And I'm going to stick this in here. Cute little quick, easy, easy embellishment. I mean, obviously, if you got to make the embellishments, that's going to take longer. <laughs> but, oh wait. I think with, like, junk journal thingamabobs, you're supposed to have something... Another trim somewhere? Is that, is that right, guys? Is yellow? Is yellow in this collection? No, huh? Shoot. What about blue? Should I do blue? Okay, we're going to do blue, even though there's no blue on this paper pad. This is the pom-poms. Oh. Oh, I found some, some green. Some mint. We will do mint. Junk journal. I have this, like, little bin of, like, trims that were gifted to me or... You know, stuff was wrapped in it. Oh my god, I just spilled those jingle bells everywhere. Okay. Thank you guys for crafting along with me <laughs> in the chaos. Um, I will link, uh, I don't know, I guess some dyes that I use down below. And I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.